Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. You know, I've always wondered about this pet store behind me. See here on my shoulder, Pet Supermarket. And uh, just recently they put up a sign. You see it? And uh, so uh, that's made me kind of curious about what's going on in there. Let's go inside and take a look. It's just down the street from my house. This could be a, uh, a little bit of a find, a little expensive and dangerous, I guess. <laughs> Let's go inside and look. It immediately reminded me of a, a smaller version of a Petco or a PetSmart with um, a lot of different sections for cats and dogs and birds and reptiles. Of course, I, gra I gravitated immediately over to the fish and uh, a small area of decor, a lot of uh, like sort of your juvenile or starter tank type decorations and uh, a lot of uh, some of your more common foods, right? your tetramins and things like this, and your um, algae wafers, some of your water conditioners, a lot of the basics. Not not a bad selection, though, you know, when you consider the, uh, the limited amount of space that they're dedicating to this section. Nice light and hood section. So I was, uh, you know, certainly in a pinch. If I just need to run somewhere, I can actually get something real quick. Nice selection. The feeder uh, fish, which is sort of a, a measure that I use on, on how much folks care, that tank looked pretty good. Decent selection of, uh, of substrates, some of the common, common ones you find, basic gravel. They even had some aragonite, which I like, of course, for cichlid tanks. Nice selection of these fish here. Look like little koi. Very, very pretty, very colorful. Love the, love the ones with the three colors and the ones with the sort of luminescent, like that yellow, very, very pretty, and silver. Very nice if you're into goldfish. Nice little live bear tank with some albino quarries. like those albino quarries. Very cute. They had some nice snails. I think if I add snails to a planted aquarium, I'll get some that are a little more colorful. One thing that I was very impressed in looking at their tanks, well, two things. One, the tanks were very clean. Very, very clean tanks. Nice guppies. And they had live plants in most of the tanks that looked healthy. And that, that tells me a bit about the water quality, the maturity of the tank. There's some Anubias actually growing on a piece of driftwood. Love those rasboras. Little cherry barbs in there. I'd have to come back and pick up some of those for the uh, smaller tank along with some neons. Definitely some fish I would pick up here if I was actually actually going back home right now. I'd probably pick up some fish. Some of these would do great in my little 29-gallon uh, planted tank project. Some tetras in there. Not crazy about that red gravel, but still... Certainly, again, if you're bringing a kid in and you want to introduce him to fish, glowfish, that'll get their attention. And again, look at all the live plants and how healthy they look in each of the tanks. Again, that to me is a very, very good sign. More feeder fish. Surprisingly, they had feeder guppy fish. I don't see those too often. But again, both feeder tanks were, were pretty healthy and clean. That says a lot to me. The usual assorted cichlid tank. Hard to find uh, very specific cichlids being sold unless you're in a specialty store or you're going online. Again, live plants in the tank indicate to me a certain level of health. Some dragon blood type hybrids, which uh, if you follow my channel, you know I'm done with those for now. <laughs> but uh, they've got them. Prices seem, uh, you know, okay. Prices are, are not bad. You know, sort of mid-range. And uh, Petco, PetSmart are probably a little bit cheaper. You can pick up some of these fish maybe for 50 cents or a buck less. But um, based on the quality of the tanks and the fact that they have live plants in each one of them, I think I would, I would, I would prefer to buy fish here, 
even though the place has a, a Petco, PetSmart feel to it, overall, because of the variety of what they sell, their tanks to me seem to be in better shape and better quality. Clean with healthy fish, little tiger barbs in there. My experience with tiger barbs, they can be a little nippy. The uh, cherry barbs were tempting and uh, wouldn't mind getting a couple of those and maybe some quarries, some quarry cats and for that uh, plant to tank project I've got going on. And uh, not a bad little store overall. I kind of like it. Uh, they've got, uh, they're making the most of the space. It's kind of like a mini PetSmart with uh, things for birds and cats and dogs and uh, very clean. And uh, hey, I liked it. I'll come back, probably pick up some neons, some cherry barbs. Once I get that small nano planted tank going, I'll throw a few more little fish in there. I'll probably come here and get them. So there you have it. A little, uh, little surprise in my neighborhood. I like supporting these small, uh, these small businesses. Why not? It's a nice clean store. I think I'll come back after the holidays, pick up a few um, of the smaller fish for the planted tank project. Um, maybe, um, Maybe some albino uh, quarries. Some of those little cherry barbs are nice. And um, I like their neon selection too. So I'll come back, pick up a few fish, support the, uh, support the local economy and the small business owner, which is always a good thing. And uh, hey, if you like the tour, give the video a thumbs up and uh, be sure to hit that sub button and notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you for your support. And uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.